video is way long due and I'm very excited about it because I have been wanting to do a puppy update for a while now. So this is what this video is if you cannot tell by the title. So guys, let me just back up some. When we got her, we actually like adopted her and we know that her mom was full-fledged Basset Hound and the dad was supposedly three-fourths Basset Hound but he was also supposed to be like a little bit of Schnauzer. I do not see Schnauzer in her one bit. But that's what she's supposed to be, but she honestly kind of doesn't look like a Basset Hound. I don't know what she is. I love her either way, whether she's a Basset Hound or a Schnauzer, or I really think she looks like a Blue Tick Hound. If you Google it, she literally looks exactly like a Blue Tick Hound. So we don't know what she is, but whatever she is, I love her. I kind of want to do one of those like DNA tests on her. You know how you can like send it off and get like a swab of saliva and then they like tell you exactly what your dog is. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. But yeah guys, I just wanted to sit down with my little puppy and just kind of explain to you guys how she's been doing. She is a mess. Let me just say that. She is not potty trained. She's getting better. She has like her good days and her bad days. But overall, she's not, I wouldn't consider her fully yet potty trained. Um, I'm trying to think what else. She loves to play with her cousin Kay. Like, absolutely adores it. And I also wanted to show you guys her favorite toys. So, this is like a, what is it called? Fortnite Llama that I won in a carnival once. But she loves it. She's like, what are you doing with my toys? So, she loves this one. Yes, I have a mom dog voice, and then she also loves her flamingo that she's playing with. Oh my goodness! She's like looking at it. Oh, she gives me these adorable little eyes. But yeah, these are her two favorites, I would say. I'm such a mom because I know her favorites. She is actually really good at fetching. She fetches. She doesn't really know how to like drop the toy. She'll bring it back to you, but then she'll be like, err, it won't let go. So we're working on that. And what else? Oh my goodness, he's so cute! Ah! These have been super helpful. These are little dog clippers and these are a must if you have a little puppy because her nails get so sharp and it's not her fault but I would literally like scream if she would jump on me because her claws would literally, my like scars on my legs are just now healing. I'm trying to teach her not to jump. She really doesn't even know like any commands, but we got her so young. We only got her when she was five weeks old. Her birthday is May 13th. The next thing I'm going to talk about is some questions that you guys always ask me about my new puppy. So the first question is, how did you get her name? And when I was growing up, I was in love with Basset Hounds and their big floppy ears. And every time we would go like on vacation as a family, there was this one gas station that had like this dog. And anyway, the town, so I basically named my dog after that town where that Basset Hound lived, if that makes sense. So it does have some meaning behind it. It's kind of complicated, but yeah, I think it's really sweet and I really like the name Lexi. And yeah. The next question is, is it harder having a puppy than you thought? And yes. My sister like actually wants a puppy and I was like, honestly, if you don't have time for a puppy, then like do not get one because like I have lots of time. It's been a good time to get a puppy, but she it was a way more of a handful than I thought. Thankfully, my mom watches her a lot, so it kind of like takes the load off and makes me not feel so bad like when we're away or doing something so she can like, you know, be free and not locked up in the cage. So yes, it is definitely harder, especially with all like, you know, potty training and all that. It's been it's been something else. So yeah. The next question is, are you going to get any more pets? And the answer is probably yes, but it's going to be a long, long time. I know my boyfriend, he wants a black lab. So maybe in the future, a couple of years, something like that. But if we do get a black lab, we want it to be like completely trained. So we don't have to go through like the puppy stage, if that makes sense. So yeah. Also guys, I'm going to give a shout out to my sister for ordering me this shirt. This shirt says Basset Mama and it's so cute. Ah, look how cute it is. It looks like my dog. Uh, I'm in love with this. So thank you so much, Amber. It was such like a sweet 
gift as I became a puppy mom. I feel like this video was like a baby update. You know how like YouTubers do like monthly updates on their babies? I feel like I did a puppy one and I'm definitely gonna do more dog videos. So with that being said, the next one will probably be a puppy Q&A. So comment down below all your questions that you have for me and my puppy. But guys, that wraps up this video and thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you're not a part of this family, I would love if you did. And yeah, I think my puppy is adorable. So thumbs up for the puppy. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.